Welcome back. This is question 11, Weber 2.2. We're using Washer method once again. Um, our bounds of integration from zero at pi over two. So now we can start setting up our problem. Pi from zero to pi over two. Given the information we give in the problem, we have, let's see, y over two above. So or y equals two, not y over two, y equals two. So that minus the two minus our cosine of x, and that is well squared. And our two squared as well because it's washer method, dx. Okay, Eva uh, not evaluating this, but simplifying this a little bit more. We can have pi from zero to pi over two, um, four minus four, so it's gonna cancel out eventually, minus four, cosine of x plus cosine squared of x dx. All right, now we can move that down here. Using identity of cosine squared, we can adjust our expression here slightly. So we have one plus cosine of two x over two instead, d of x. Um, and then now we can finally cancel out some fours. Um, this is gonna become positive cosine. This will become positive um, one plus cosine two x over two. Okay. And that's the integral from zero to pi over two and pi out up front and dx. So now we can split up our cosine here and we can do four cosine of x plus one over two plus, or sorry, so maybe it should be minus one over two minus sine two X over four, or cosine two X over two DX. Okay, now we can take the integral of this and it's just trig at this point. So we have four sine of x minus x over two. It's going to be minus sine two x over four from zero pi over two. Now we just plug this in. Four sine pi over two minus pi over four minus sine uh, pi over four. Now the front minus four sine of zero minus zero minus sine of zero over four. And all of this will simplify to 16 pi over four minus pi over pi squared over four, which can be rewritten as 16 pi minus pi squared over four. That is our answer for question 11.